that beautiful weather Thomas just mentioned, Consumer Reports tests dozens of sunscreens every year to see which ones protect you the most against skin cancer. Now, the good news is you don't need to pay a ton of money to find a sunscreen that works, but you do need to choose carefully since some of those claims on the label may leave you burnt. Consumer Reports tested dozens of lotions, sprays, and sticks, all to ensure you're protected if you spend time outdoors. But passing these tests aren't easy. We're looking at how well a sunscreen protects against two kinds of UV rays, UVA and UVB, which can cause skin cancer, skin aging, and sunburn. To measure how well a sunscreen protects against UVB rays, testers apply sunscreen to small areas of skin before then soaking in a tub for 40 or 80 minutes, depending on how water resistant the sunscreen is. The area is then exposed to simulated sunlight, and then the next day, trained experts examine the area for redness. To test for protection against UVA rays, testers apply sunscreen on plastic plates, expose them to UV light, and then measure the amount of absorbed rays. We found considerable differences in performance, even among sunscreens from the same brand. In particular, we found that some sunscreens don't match the level of protection that's listed on their label. A top sunscreen lotion from this year's test is Coppertone Water Babies Lotion SPF 50. Eucerin Advanced Hydration Spray SPF 50 was the best spray sunscreen. If you're on a budget, Equate Walmart Ultra Lotion SPF 50 is CR's most affordable recommended lotion, while Trader Joe's spray SPF 50 is its most affordable recommended spray. Now remember, no matter what sunscreen you choose, how you apply it matters. For lotions, you should use about a teaspoon per body part or area not covered by clothing. And for sprays, you should apply enough that your skin glistens and then rub it in. Well, there you go. It's also important to reapply sunscreen every two hours you're outside and immediately after you go swimming or you start to sweat.